What's up mga Kap? It's me, Kap Joey of Kap Unity Canada. Isang magandang araw po sa inyo. And hopefully po mga Kap, you are having a Kap amazing day po mga Kap. So if you are watching this video anywhere in the world, I want you to comment in the comment section po mga Kap. If you're watching in Dubai, Abu Dhabi, Singapore, i-comment mo na para alam natin kung saan nakakarating ang video na to. But anyway po mga Kap, last week we just post Pumakap at tinatanong natin yung mga cups natin, ano ba yung ibig sabihin ng cup or cups? Palagi mong naririnig sa ating videos or maybe in our social media posting or maybe you receive an email from us at sinabi namin, Cup Joey, Cup John, anong ibig sabihin ng cup? And before we answer these questions, I think mas may magandang sagot ang mga cups natin all over the world. So we have Cup Ronda G, sabi niya ang cup means Kapatid, kapatiran, kapitan na pwede mong napitan at konsultahin when it comes to dream of going to Canada. This is the best answer kung mga kap. Nasagot mo na, natumbok mo na. Kap Ronda ang ibig sabihin ng kaps. Kaps kung mga kap is a shorter word of kapatid. No? So if we send you an email or maybe we, we answer your comment or maybe on the live streaming we say kap, ibig sabihin kung mga kap, kapatid. In English, parang brother or sister, di ba? Parang wala nang gender, sen gender sensitive po tayo, no? Wala nang gender. Cups na lang. So, is either boy ka or girl ka? Cups na lang, di ba? It's a brother or, uh, or sister po maka. But anyway, just want to shout out all our cups na nag-comment. So, kung hindi ko ma-shout out kayo, pasensya na po maka. But we really appreciate your comment po maka if we have this kind of posting in our social media. We really want you to comment in our social media account, mga Kap, Kap Unity Canada. Sabi ni Kap JC, sabi niya, Kap, pati, Kap, pamilya, dapat i-post niyo mga Kaps yung job hiring niyo para masaya din. So, in terms of job posting po, mga Kap, we always post our job posting or job availability at jobs.kapunitycanada.ca or you can simply visit our website at kapunitycanada.ca at hanapin niyo po yung job posting. We have also Kap Vida, sabi niya kapatid, same with Kap John Michael uh, Manalili, uh, kapatid, kapamilya, sabi ni Kap Gabriel, sabi ni Kap Hazy Ann, na nandito na sa New Brunswick, kapatid, si Yada is kapatid, sabi ni Kap Ping, kapatid, sabi ni Kap Girly Almazan, all the way from Bicol, big shout out sa iyo to my cousin, kapatid, Leia, kapatid, kapamilya, sabi ni Kap Chari, Charina Alcala, kapatid, sabi ni Kap Moisel, Mozel Magalianes, kapatid, sabi ni Marian is kapihan. No? Speaking of kapihan, we're going to start our re-hit version of kapihan session po mga Kap with Kap Joey. Soon po mga Kap, soon to watch po mga Kap. And also, also, sabi ni Kap Maria, kapihan, Kap Michael, sabi niya is kapwa. Bago yun, no? Kapwa. So, pwede po talaga. Kapwa, Pilipino. Maraming maraming salamat. Bagong definition na naman ng kap. Whatever the definition of kap po mga kap, we just want to simply say, welcome to our kap unity. So, we are your community here in Canada. Maybe you're starting to dream. Maybe you're just navigating and exploring the options. Maybe you're ready here in Canada. Or maybe matagal na matagal ka na dito sa Canada and you just want to be, get connected to different cups natin all over Canada, join us po mga kap, because we are your community. So whatever the definition, kapwa, kapatid, kapamilya, ka, uh, ano pa to, kapitan, no? whatever the definition mga kap, we just want to say, you are welcome to Cup Unity Canada because we are your community here in Canada. So, maraming maraming salamat mga Kap for following us. And of course, if you are dreaming to immigrate here in Canada, follow Cup Unity Canada because we are sharing free information to achieve your Canadian dream. We believe po mga Kap, if we are able to give you a free education, a free information on how to immigrate to Canada, you are able to achieve your Canadian dream. Kasi po mga Kap, planning. Creating a strategic plan is the key to success here in Canada. Kung wala kang magandang plano, wala kang plan A, plan B, plan C, plan D, hindi po magiging successful ang iyong Canadian dream. 
based on my experience and based on everyone's experience, talagang challenging ang immigrating here in Canada. You cannot hit this in one strike po, sabi nga. Sabi nga ng iba, kap, marami akong sinabit na resume after billion times of submitting resume, nakakuha ako ng isa and now I'm here. Kap, I try to take several IELTS. Hindi po ako makapasapasa and now I'm able to get a target score and I'm here now in Canada. Kap, ang hirap mang ipo ng proof of funds Nung nag-ipon ko na wala na yung program But I'm able to navigate to other program which is a student And now I'm here in Canada So there are several programs po mga kap na available dito sa Canada You just need to navigate it Sabi nga po mga kap, yung pinaplano mong AIP Maybe you're not suitable for that Maybe you're for a student Maybe you're thinking for a student Pero hindi pala Meron ka palang NSPNT na program na naghihintay sa'yo So there's a different program, different program with different requirements and the reality of it po maka hindi po ganoon kadali. Hindi po yung paper makalam at bukas nandito ka na sa Canada. There's a process that you need to comply, there's a requirement that you need to comply. There's a waiting time kasi kailangan po mag-process ng immigration po maka. It's reasonable because you have the opportunity to live here permanently. Kaya madugo, may proseso ang pag-process dito sa Canada because you have the opportunity to live permanently dito sa Canada. Nasabi ko reasonable because it's the same thing po mga kung ikaw magpapatira ng someone sa bahay mo, you need to do some checking. You need to do some, you know, are you safe ka bang kasama? <laughs> diba? You need to do you need to do, you, need, you need to do some background check. Capable ka pa ba na suporta ang sarili mo when you when you are makikitira ka sa bahay mo? 'Di ba? You need to do some background check. Same thing with Canada po maka. Maninirahan ka dito permanently. Kaya mo bang suporta ang sarili mo? May mahahanap ka bang trabaho? Pabigat ka ba dito sa Canada? 'Di ba? So, these are the um Uh, layman's term po maka, para maintindihan nyo na hindi ganun kadali na pumunta dito sa Canada pero achievable naman. Once you are able to achieve your Canadian dream, sulit na sulit naman because there's a lot of opportunities na maghihintay po sa inyo. A lot of our cops are now successful dito sa Canada. It's not because they're already here in Canada but because of their hard work pinagtrabahuhan nila because they have a strong determination to achieve their Canadian dream. Ang Canadian dream ng mga cops natin ay hindi na makakapak dito sa Canada, but their success is yung mga stable po sila. Stable income, stable job, and of course, definitely for their kids. So anyway po mga cop, I'm going to end this video by saying po mga cop na if they're able to achieve their Canadian dream, kaya mo rin. Kaya nga nila, mas kaya mo. So, don't give up mga kap in your Canadian dream. Mga kap, kung ikaw ay naghihinaan ng loob, just comment it below and we are here because we are your community here po mga kap. That's it for today mga kap. Maraming maraming salamat. It's me, Kap Joey of Kap Unity Canada. Follow me on my social media account. It's Kap Joey on, social, on Facebook and when in Halifax and YouTube. Maraming salamat mga kap and we are signing up. See you here in Canada.